everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the YouTube series where I reveal what's inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello and welcome to part 34. This week's an exciting one because this mold has never been used before. It still has the original band from sale on it. Um, so I sort of jiggle that one out of the way so that I can still pour it with that band on um, just so that I'm not getting tempted to open it up and see exactly what it is. It does have a label on it, but the label was a bit deceiving. I wasn't sure what kind of shape or size, but I'll show you that in a second after the reveal so you can have a look for yourself so I started to pour this one up and I had a few suggestions from people saying you should have used a funnel the thing about using a funnel uh, for this one is I have no idea how big they are so I don't know how much clay to even pour into the funnel so doing it this way it was a little bit messy but I can recycle all that clay anyway so it's completely fine um, and I yeah because I have no idea how big it is there's no point using a funnel and pouring all this clay and then not being able to get the funnel out because I put too much clay into it so I give the mold a bit of a jiggle and that's just because I have no idea what shape it is and to sort of jiggle the clay into the little crevices and nooks and crannies wherever they may be in the mold I try and tip out the excess but there was no excess to tip out and I cut open the piece I wasn't sure exactly how to open this one because I I, I don't even know what it is so I had to sort of give it a really big wriggle and jiggle so that I didn't put stress cracks into the piece but I opened it up to reveal um <laughs> no idea I have no idea what these are really meant to be but on the mold itself they say that they're a three wing candle holder it doesn't have two dots so when a mold has two dots it usually says that it goes with something else so um, it's a part so for example I've done owls before um, and they actually come with wings and usually they have like a little two dot mark on them that tells you that it has a second part that you pour another mold to join to it so this one doesn't have that so maybe this manufacturer didn't do that as part of their uh, manufacturing um, I don't know like identification so I am literally holding them and going what am I going to do with these I have no idea what I guess they're for because it says they're candle holders but these are very very small very small um, I have never seen a candle this small before um, so I may have to contact a candle maker to see if they really make them this tiny because even with the kiln they're, they're small now but with the kiln fire and they shrink even more so i'm just going i don't know I, I don't know how you'd fit a candle in this i have no idea um i i also thought that maybe these would be really great attachments for someone that does that sort of angelic fairy like work um they would look really cool on like a pot plant or i i have no idea uh, this one really stumped me I can usually come up with ideas but this just the shape like if it was the wings alone I could do so much with that if it was a little planter like it looks like a little pot I could do lots with that but them together and the way they're spaced I'm it's really shook me um, so I began painting and I started with a too small of a brush and changed to the bigger brush um, to get more coverage so I decided to do antiquing with them um, because I love the results of the feathers last time so much um, I figured I would do more of that on these and highlight that really beautiful detailed feather work like I don't know how someone even sculpted this initially to give it so much detail it's so gorgeous um, so yeah I decided with this mold that I had because I have no idea what it what I want to use it for <laughs> I don't know I just was like I'm just gonna try some things on it and see how they come out so this reveal I decided to do three different colors so I've done a purple and orange and a pink they're sort of pastel-y colors and then I'm going in with like an opalescent um, like a almost like an abalone from the abalone shell um, mold reveal I'm doing like a really beautiful glowy glaze on the wings to see how I guess like the antiquing pops through that opalescent glaze um, and I thought that that would sort of give it this kind of like fairy like angelic feeling um, because these are such beautiful angel wings I didn't want to yeah I don't know I, and because they're so small like I can't even really paint details on them to really execute an idea I don't know I've just I'm really lost <laughs> I'm really lost with this reveal but uh, with that said 
I was meant to mention this straight away, but if you've seen this piece before, um, if you've maybe come across it or know what it's for, please let me know in the comments because I'm actually really intrigued what um, the purpose of this is and I guess where it's been used and how it's been used because I have no context at the moment. So I'm just sort of making it up. I um, did look up the mold as soon as I opened it because I was like, oh my gosh, but I could not find much on it at all. I found a one of the molds for sale on eBay and I found pictures of just this, but I like as it as a greenware piece but I never saw I couldn't find a picture of it like finished or added to something so if you've got links send them through as well because I love reading your comments when you find the molds and or if you've had the mold or yeah I love hearing the stories because it's just so exciting bringing these pieces back to life when they've sort of almost been forgotten about in a way um so yeah here I am adding that glaze I think that these would be really cool is like an installation art piece as well like if you did thousands of them like I'm talking thousands and did like this wall installation of all these like little angel wings floating off the wall like that would be so cool I think but um yeah I don't know I only poured one one lot of this mold um because yeah I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I usually have a concept I pour them on like yeah this is the idea I've got it I've got it I'm gonna do this um, or I sort of have a general um, plan on what I'm gonna do and then I sort of make it up as I go whereas this one I'm just like eh. <laughs> yeah so hopefully it turns out um, in a beautiful way we'll see so yeah I'm adding that um, opalescent glaze now um, so it should come out really pretty I hope I'm doing it really thick in hope that you can get some shimmer and sort of yeah like a gemstone kind of look coming through the wings but also like that little pop of purple orange and pink come through it a little bit um, I feel like these could be a really cool like gothic piece too um, obviously I don't use a lot of black and um, even though I tried to adapt my style to all these molds I still put a lot of color in them I need to use color and everything <laughs> which has been a common theme with all the reveals um, but I think that these could be a really cool like gothic angelic uh, inspired piece too like if you did it sort of like a black um, like the blacks and purples and did it this really mystical yeah I don't know if you've got some cool ideas let me know because maybe I could revisit them when I have time and see yeah I don't know <laughs> I said I think I've said I don't know like 20 times because <laughs> Yeah, it's really thrown me. Anyway, I sponged up the back. I didn't glaze them except for the wings on the front. Um, and I packed them through the kiln. And here is what they look like coming out. They are so precious. So precious and delightful and delicate and whimsical. I really didn't know about this mold I really didn't know where to go with it but having this really simple statement of the color and then the opalescent glaze on top is absolutely so beautiful I love how the opal has sort of rested in those crevices and has given it this translucent um, glowing well it's opal it's literally opal in those crevices and it's gorgeous it's like a gemstone um, it's like a fairy godmother uh, with beautiful wings that ha ah, I'm really blown away by how delicate these are because a lot of my work can is quite um, vibrant cartoon like um, it's quirky whereas this is a lot more minimal and um, it's on the tip of my tongue the word to explain it but it's just this very angelic finish that is not typical of my style that is so based around a kitsch um, almost cutesy element it's just got like it's it's stunning um, to see myself make work like this that's just so diverse and different but still has nodes of the color that I use in that palette 
Uh, I think they're gorgeous. And when I was looking at these, I was like, these definitely look like little terracotta pots with wings. Um, they look like little pots that are like almost flying away with little baby angel succulents in them. So as I was looking at them, I decided that I would go into my succulent garden and get some little uh, cuttings of like the little baby succulents and prop them in there to see what they would look like. Um, because these are, oh, they're just so pretty. Like it's, it's so lovely and oh, that purple the white opal has come out like a blue it's stunning <laughs> i'm very impressed um i'm not sure whether i would make them again but the ones that i have made i'm very impressed with so here i am in my garden just snipping back some succulents to pop them into their little pots and ah look how cute that is <laughs> The contrast of the bright, crisp green with these delicate, soft pastels is just so stunning as well. I, I've just outdone myself and impressed myself again with the result. Um, these could have gone a really bad way because I've never tried this before. They could have gone a complete opposite way, but um, they're, they're beautiful. What do you think of them, more importantly? Um, I'm impressed. What do you think of this result? after this mold not being used it being something that was meant to be a candle holder to being something that's so delicate and quaint and oh, so precious i mean looking at them here i just can't imagine a candle sitting in there but maybe that's just me maybe you know of some small candles i can try them out with these pieces Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for part 35.